hi everyone and welcome back to my channel i am very excited for today's video because i'm going to be doing a watch me work um acrylic application video and i hope you guys enjoy these because these are my favorite type of videos to record edit watch so i hope you like them too don't forget to like this video comment any upcoming videos you guys would like to see subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications to get notified every time i post a new video and keep on watching so i'm gonna start today's video a little differently i want to do the question of the day in the beginning so you guys are able to comment the question of the day um usually i do do it like towards the middle or the end and i feel like not a lot of people watch it all the way especially like a really long video so i'm gonna try doing it in the beginning and i hope you guys comment down below your answer and today's question of the day is what is your go-to nail color whether you get them done and this is your favorite color or you've noticed that your clients like this is their go-to color comment down below and let me know because i feel like i have been doing so many nude sets i'm not taking clients but like all my family members have been wanting nude i have been using nude on myself like crazy and i you know nude is very like a basic color as in like you can use it for absolutely anything ombre and all of that but for some reason i've been using it a lot more and this set is like to tell you because i did this set on my cousin and she wanted them all completely nude and i have so many acrylics that it's really hard for me to waste them like for me to go through a color i don't think i've ever like gone completely through a color but this nude which is nude panther by not polish is almost completely gone but good thing is i have another one so that's good but this is like my first color that i've completely gone through because i've used every sing like single bit of it and it's a gorgeous color and as you know i do have a discount code with them so um the discount codes and all the links are down in the description box for you guys and yeah so this video is more of just an application video meaning that i already prepped off camera and i do have a lot of other videos where i show you how i prep and then i did start off using the mia secret dehydrator and as always the young nails protein bond and then the nail tips that i'm using are also from not polish and they're called universal tips which are super super amazing all you have to do like especially for your short length girls that want coffin and i know coffin is really kind of hard to achieve especially on like super short nails but with these tips all you have to do is like glue them on cut them to the desired length and that coffin shape is basically already made if they wanted a little bit more like coffin then you just gotta file it but it's like basically already there they're not square tips which makes it so much more convenient if you want coffin i also wanted to give a little tip about that because i have so many different tips you guys it's crazy i think i have over like eight different kinds of tips they range from like you know extra long to c curve to square with c curve a c curve um you know stiletto that curved down i mean there's just a whole bunch of different types out in the market right now and i have been collecting them since i started in the nail world so i have so many they are hit and miss and maybe in the future i will post um a video of all my tips and which ones like work and which ones don't but what i'm trying to point out is like myself i ask the person i'm doing the nails to what they want before i even start applying the tips so i ask them like what shape do you want or what length do you want do you want them really long so if they want them like super super long then i obviously use the extra long nails if they show me a picture and it's like it shows the c curve and i ask them if that's okay then i use like the extra long c curve nails that are available on my website by the way <laughs> but yeah i will use those if they want short stiletto i mean short coffin then i will use these universal tips from not polish if they want short square then i have like these tips that i got off of amazon so it just all depends on what they want to make it easier on you because if you like you use the same tips for everything which i know a lot of people do you're able to achieve that look as well but you're gonna have to do like a lot of cutting and filing and there are tips out there that make it just more simple for you to achieve that length and shape that they want just had to point that out there because i hadn't mentioned that before but 
it's something that i've been wanting to mention and i hope this helps you out and i hope um in the future to post that video of all the tips that i have and if you guys want to see it let me know in the comments down below i'd be more than happy to show you guys but yeah i don't have like one specific nail tip to go to because everybody wants different shapes when i do my own nails sometimes i want to switch it up so i kind of use like a little bit of all of them unless they really really didn't work out for me but other than that i will like use different tips i don't stick to the same ones and it is time for black friday you guys happy thanksgiving when i'm doing this voiceover it's a day before thanksgiving so i'm not sure if i'm gonna upload it before or after but happy thanksgiving um you know times are different now we're not able to enjoy it i used to spend it with like my entire family and it was a lot of us but you know this year is very different so we're not gonna spend it like that and even though like i'm all about tradition and stuff we know that it's for like the best that we don't get together i know you know it's pretty sad but we're not going to be doing that this year so happy thanksgiving to you guys and black friday is also here which black friday you know we don't go shopping this year i hope but i'm not going shopping that's for sure and i'm doing all my shopping online i mentioned this in my last video and yeah i'm having my black friday sale already for my crafts by nine website which is craftsby9.com and you know i have a lot of really good sales if you spend like i think it's like 25 dollars, you get five dollars off 50 you get ten dollars off if you spend 75 you get um 20 dollars off or 15 dollars off and then if you spend 100 you get 20 dollars off which is a really good sale i have the discount codes on my instagram on both my pages and i also have it on my website so if you guys are interested go look i also just posted my extra long c-curve nail tips as well as restocked a lot of colors for my custom nail tech face masks and you guys i am so happy because i am a few states away or like <laughs> i am only missing a few states of orders for me to be like i'm about how do i explain this i am about to how do i say this i have basically shipped to 47 states in the united states so i am about to you know basically have sent my products my crafts by nine to all the states which is beyond crazy to me it's amazing because i've only been selling for a few months i've only had my website for a few i think only like a month or two which is crazy because I never ever thought that I was about to be sending to the entire United States and you guys made that possible and I'm not trying to get emotional but I just want to thank you guys so much I'm so grateful the amount of support that I get daily on all of my social media and yeah so going into the video I am using this blue color from Valentino Beauty Pure and I absolutely love their products don't get me wrong like they're their cover powders their core powders um and like their monomer and their brushes and everything is like spectacular but i do find myself when i use their actual pigment colors i don't know if you've noticed throughout this video like those little balls of darker color and i usually always shake my acrylic powders before because they say you should do that just in case you know they have like those little balls that i'm talking about but i noticed that with these colors and especially the darker ones like this blue one every time i do a set with it it's absolutely gorgeous the color but i do get those darker round little balls and i don't know exactly what they are i kind of have to play with them and they kind of like um i don't know how to say like with the brush i play with it a little bit and it blends in or i have to do like another layer of the color so it kind of disappears underneath but um, yeah, I don't know how to get rid of those. I don't want to add any clear acrylic or white acrylic to it just because I want to keep it the way it is. But if any of you guys know what to do with those little tiny like colored balls in the colored acrylics, um, let me know. It is like the pigment, I'm sure. But I just kind of want to know if I'm able to get rid of those. So yeah, I'm using it um, on all of the nails basically. But on the ring finger, I'm going to do a marble design. And this is actually like a recreation of 
a set that i did a few months back i posted it on my instagram and that's what she wanted so i was like okay let me recreate my own set <laughs> and it came out super cute like it's very simple to do and it's really really pretty it looks like really nice so um the white acrylic is actually white from not polish um that's the color of the acrylic and then i'm going to encapsulate with the clear acrylic and i'm using the nail house clear the acrylic brush i always forget to mention the acrylic brush i don't know why you guys and i'm sorry and i do use different ones usually so sometimes i do forget which one it is but this one is from valentino beauty pure and i'm pretty sure it's the number 10 acrylic brush and there are a lot of discount codes out there for them i don't have one myself but there are a lot of discount codes that you can find so you know use that i have shown in previous videos how to do like marble design and then i usually always do the same steps so if you guys want to check that out or if you guys want a more brief like explanation let me know i also do a lot of like mini tutorials on my tiktok um and somebody just asked me to do a marble tutorial so that will be up very very soon um i stay very active on all my social medias in case you guys haven't noticed i'm on it all the time and i try to upload daily on my tiktok and instagram i'm not so good at it with youtube when it comes to doing voiceovers because it takes me so long to edit i don't know why and i have always tried to get better um but it just takes me a while because of like the whole voiceovers and you know all of that so yeah and then also my storage on my phone sucks because i have so many pictures and videos so yeah i'm gonna be applying the clear acrylic now and it's basically because the marble kind of makes it uneven on the nail so you to make it even you just use that clear acrylic and no one's even gonna know just to make it like solid and you know nice so I'm going to repeat the same step on the other side and I wanted this to be a like watch me work video and it's very satisfying to me to watch it and I get to watch myself work so yeah.
right guys well i hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to check out my craftsby9.com for the black friday sales and all the new stuff that i have in there don't forget to like comment and subscribe turn on your post notifications to get notified every time i post a new video check out the tiktok that is coming up next of this set that i made and follow me on my social media i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys